Hi, welcome to Cambridge Answers. In this video lesson, we are going to learn about division. The division symbol on your screen is used when we want to divide numbers. There's another division symbol which looks like this. There are three different areas around the symbol that we are going to use for division. This is the area where we put the number we are dividing up or our dividend. The second area is where we put the divisor or the number we are going to be dividing by. This shows how many groups we will be dividing our dividend into. The third part is the quotient or our answer. So again, dividend is the number we have to divide, divisor is the groups and quotient is our answer. What is the remainder? Let's take the division problem 8 divided by 4. 8 needs to be divided equally into 4 groups. When we divide 8 equally in 4 groups, we get 2 in each group. 2, 4, 6, 8. Now let's take 9 divided by 4. 9 is not a multiple of 4 and therefore cannot be divided equally into 4 groups without a remainder. The remainder over here is 1. Let's use our division symbol to divide 56 by 3. Division has 4 steps. Divide multiply, subtract, bring down and then repeating the procedure. We can use the acronym DMSB to help us divide. An easy way to remember this is <coughs> dirty, <coughs> monkeys, <coughs> smell, <coughs> bad. Now let's get the monkey out of the way. The first step is to divide. So how many groups of 3 can you make out of 5? You can make one group of 3 with the remainder of 2. The same thing can be shown with the help of a multiplication grid. How many 3's does it take to make 5 or almost 5? We can see that 3 multiplied by 2 is 6. So the answer is 3 multiplied by 1 which is equal to 3. The next step is to multiply. We are going to multiply 3 and 1 to get 3. Now, the next step is to subtract. We are going to subtract 3 from 5 to get 2. Now for our next step, which is to bring down. We are going to bring down 6 to make 26. Now let's repeat the procedure. Let's see how many groups of 3 we can make out of 26. We can make 8 groups of 3 from 26 with a remainder of 2. We can show the same thing with the help of a multiplication grid. How many 3's does it take to make 26 or almost 26? The answer is 8, which is 24. Now let's move on to our next step, which is to subtract. Let's subtract 24 from 26. We get 2 as the remainder. And that is how we divide. See you next time.